Hey guys, uh, welcome, welcome back. We're gonna today we're gonna continue with the ICC finals, uh, IC Open finals. Uh, very very interesting tournament. Uh, I played two of the four qualifiers. Um, did eight out of eleven in both of them, but obviously didn't qualify. Uh, the qualifiers are as follows. From the qualifier number one, Dimitri Andreakin, very strong guy, 27 plus, 2750 maybe right now. So um, super super strong guy. Uh, second one, Fireland Abbasov Nijad. This guy kind of dominated the tournament uh, from 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 the start. So it's it's quite surprising. His rating is his like feeder rating is only 2520. So that's not very very high. Um, Again, this is um, debatable. Debatable whether whether uh, whether he has we, we, he stands any chances to to, 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 to do something or not. Um, from the qualifier number two, Blitzor and the Presniak. Blitzor is Daniel Dubov. Uh, again. 26, 2650 guy, uh, and the Presniak is probably my main, uh, my main um, horse in this tournament is Alexander Grischuk, uh, world championship candidate. You know, uh, almost, almost. Um, yeah, he's one of the guys that passed 2800 in the past year. So. I mean, <laughs> this is something that kind of speaks for itself. Uh, qualifier number two, Sibelefant is Vladislav Artemiev, youngster, 16 or 17 years old. He's 2700 almost. Um, and the other guy is Federikov. Mm, not really sure who. Uh, this guy is Federico Perez Pons. I'm not sure how uh, how strong he is. Again, 25 something. Um, yeah. Uh, third, fourth, and last qualifier, which which was yesterday, yesterday night. Uh, Aplusk, Alexander Moskalenko, and Izodung, David Larino Nieto. Uh, both these guys are not that strong. Like, well, Moskalenko, I think he's a, he's almost 2600. Um, maybe more than that. Uh, but the other one's not. The other one is like 25, 25, 20 or something like that. The question is how to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to to, to get into the game, but I'm. I think they're having some problems. Let me just check. I'm gonna. I'm gonna open. Um, Inside, yeah, the ICC is having some 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 problems. Okay, so observe is all doing what? Observe. Okay, so we have Vladimirovic, who is uh, who is it? Izodung is David Larito Nieto, and Vladimirovic is Andre Kim. Um, okay, this finished. Uh, this finished quickly, right? Draw. Um. Mm, mm. I, I would say I would say um, Izodung could have could have hoped for more, but follow the Presniak. What's his name exactly? Okay, I want to follow this match because the Presniak is obviously. Um, 
the guy that I think is going to win this tournament quite quite easily. Well, nothing is easy in 3 plus 0, but um, he definitely has the biggest chances. He's a very, very strong Blitz player. So we have we have this position, and he's playing against an IM right now, so I don't think he will have too many problems. Um, I think he's already 1-0. He won a game in the Kings Indian, and now he seems to be winning in this uh, in in the second game as well. Okay, so he's a he's an exchange up, but black has some compensation because he has already a pawn and he also has this pawn on a4 which is very very um, unpleasant to deal with okay apparently the presniak is just trying to to simplify the position a little bit um he might go for a draw he might just go for a draw because he's yeah he he will go for a draw this is gonna be a draw probably. Yeah, the knight is coming, the king is the king is coming. But there again, a plus has like um, a few good seconds ahead of the Presniak, and he's the knight is jumping very very easily, you know, in this position. So um, he can he can give some checks, gain some time, you know, and maybe he will flag him. Maybe he will flag uh, the Presniak, but. Again, I don't think that's gonna happen. Let's see. Okay, 95. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they already started offering draws, so... I would assume, I would assume at some point, yeah. Draw. Okay. We're gonna... So I'm gonna follow the Presniak, and I'm gonna follow Sibelefem. This is my second um, horse in this tournament. Okay, no, I wanna follow the Presniak. Or not? Okay, we will we will look at this game. History Sibelefant. Wait, what? Sibelefant. History Sibelefant. Okay, so he's already 2-0. Uh, it seems like. He's trying to get back. My guy is not doing very well, guys. I don't know. This Fireland is very suspicious. 25-20 uh, cannot play that good for 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 so long. Uh, I know a lot of people cheat, started cheating in this tournament because of the big price uh, price fund and, and everything. So I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody else. I I don't think he's cheating with the computer because then he would get caught. But I wouldn't be surprised if this guy Fireland uh, is is allowing somebody else to play. But then again, uh, that's yeah. Yeah. Yeah, also uh, Chessbra is informing me that uh, apparently Abasov is a well-known cheater. But, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He says the incentive to cheat is so high for someone. Yes, yes, no, I agree, I agree, uh, Chessbra, definitely. Uh, it, it surprises me, you know, it surprises me a lot that... Uh, that this Fireland is playing so well, you know, he he beat like Sibelefan, Cibe which is a much stronger opponent, um, which is a much stronger guy than him. He's like 2650 in in real life, and he beat him already. He's already 2-0. So this match might end anytime soon. Um, again. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. Oh my God. Sorry. Sorry. My cam covers. 
You guys are right. How about now? Yeah, now is much now is much better. So yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Um, let's get back to it. All right. So I like Black's position, but there comes a big sacrifice right when I said it. Okay, take Queen e6. What's the idea? Queen e6, King. Whoa. Oh, Queen e6 and uh, Bishop takes b6. Okay, take, take on e7. Ah, uh, incredible. Incredible. Yeah, the, the, the guy uh, rook d8 and it's done. Game over. Yeah, you see, as you guys can see, a lot of people think uh, Fireland is, is cheating. And honestly, I mean, I... <laughs> I don't want to accuse because you know there was a uh, there was this recent debate in the woman uh, woman European Championship about uh, a, a girl like cheating and and stuff like that and um, nothing was funded and she 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 suffered a lot because of that so I I don't want to accuse with with no reason but. The way he plays uh, against these like top GMs, is, I don't know. It's very suspicious. Yeah. Okay. This is this is just done. Uh, this uh, this match is over, guys. Uh, Fireland advances. Uh, two zero. There are four games. Um, he's already two zero. Probably this one he's not gonna lose. So. Um, yeah, good, good job, Fireland, I guess. So I'm gonna follow the Presniak again. And I wanna see the history. Okay, Aplalus, I don't know what this A is. So it's his one and a half. One and a half to half. And now he's playing black. And he seems to be doing pretty well. Or not. Maybe not. Rook b7. He has to start attacking the pawns. But I think he's in trouble. The Presniak might be in trouble. Um... Yeah. He's lost, completely lost. The Presniak, the Presniak is gonna lose. So we have a we have a match here, guys. We have a very very uh, very interesting match. It's gonna be equal after after three rounds. So the last round is gonna be decisive. We're gonna stick with this match, um, unless something extraordinary happens in those ten seconds. But I doubt it will. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So, one and a half, one and a half. This is getting interesting. Let, no, Grishchuk is not leading. Um, somebody on ICC is saying that Grishchuk is leading. No, he's definitely not leading. Uh, it's one and a half, one and a half, once again. They did play a game, but that game got adjourned, I think, because um, it wasn't a part of the tournament, right? They just challenged each other after the first game. So that was pretty cool. Okay, last game. Uh, Grishchuk is white. The Presniak is white. So this is my guy. I hope he's gonna win. But apparently this Aplusk uh, is 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 not that bad. Um, he's an IM <laughs> again. Very very surprising. Very surprising. Um, 
let's see. Okay, we, we, we have this position in which black is, is having a very, very solid game. Uh, but b5 might be coming very fast. So he has to be careful. Yeah. Yeah, b5, b5 has to be played because otherwise uh, black would just play rook c8 and then b5 is pointless because he can just take with the a pawn. Um, what about rook c8 now? Oh, rook c8, knight d6. Yes, knight d6, bishop takes d6, and now uh, white has a very, very nice position. He has the bishop pair. The black king is kind of stuck in the center. So I, would, I, I definitely have my money on white in this game. Um, yeah, king d2, knight c3, yes. And now b4, b5 will be coming at some point, you know, very fast. b4, b4, b5, open up the position on the queen side and put some pressure on this very, very weak pawn on b7. Um, yes, a, a check, a check is always good. If, yeah, Grishuk is playing flawlessly this game, and um, I'm sure he's gonna he's he's gonna win. Um, it doesn't seem like the position is is in Aplusk style, especially uh -huh. in blitz. I don't know why anybody would play this type of game in blitz. Uh, you have to defend all the time, you know. You 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 have to defend. You have to make passive moves and hope um, that your fortress will will stand. Well, uh, uh, sometimes it doesn't, you know. And if white if white catches b5 like he did, uh, I, I I don't think I don't think the position is very good. But okay, the game is not over yet. <laughs> the game is not over yet. Let's. Uh, Let's not jump to any conc conclusions immediately. Okay. <laughs> Actually, knight d5, or what, what is he trying to do? Oh, knight d5 and knight d7. Okay. The Presnia found a way. He found a way. Good job. Good job, Grishuk. Yes, 1-0. Uh, He's winning. He's going to win big material now. Take, take, take on a6. Night up. Night up, not a lot of things can happen. Only, only thing necessary right now is a decent technique, which I, I'm pretty sure the Presniak has. So, okay, let's, let's watch it till the end, just to make sure he's gonna win this, so. Uh, this match yes white is usually better in this line um, I agree especially if he manages to play s s things with b5 Oh, nice, nice. Erebuni was disqualified. I didn't know that. Yeah, I thought he's a... Uh... Wait. Is this... Whoa. This is... This just got very, very interesting. Very competitive. Uh... White is not winning anymore. Oh, wow. We might, we might have a tiebreak. We might have a tie break now, guys. Unless, unless, I don't know what's happening with the Presnyak. He might have like internet problems. Um, but he just, uh, he just messed it up. He messed it up big time. And, um, yeah, this is complete draw. Complete draw and he, he's, he has less seconds, so. Hmm. Okay, he's probably black is not gonna try to flag him, but still, uh, it's very surprising. 
an end game an end game with with a piece up and he managed to escape um, good defense by Aplusk what can I say good defense Wow unbelievable wait Aplusk is starting to have to to have less seconds so the Presniak is trying it might be trying to push huh oh wow wow <laughs> no draw wow wow what a turn of events what a turn of events yes this is uh this is three minutes guys this is three plus zero i mean yeah good job congratulations to um to the presniak uh let's see if anybody else is playing fireland probably already is not let's see vladimirovich observe Vla Vladimirovich is not playing, so they're done. History Vladimirovich. Okay, let's see the history, guys. Oops, a bit too high. Okay, Izo Dung. Oh, wait, what is this? It means they are equal, right? So they should have a tie break, I think. Okay, let's check. Observe Vladimirovich. Wait, what, what, what's happening? Why is Vladimirovich not going into a tie break? Um, observe Federikov. Nope. Okay, sure. I will. I will. I will follow Vladimirovich because okay, I'm gonna follow Vladimirovich because they're supposed to have a tie breaks. So it's Izodung, who people are uh, are uh, are are uh, believing he's cheating against Vladimirovich. Vladimirovich is Andrei Ekin. Um, Izodung David Larino Nieto 2500 2500 compared to 2750 how better can he be in blitz you know how better can he be in blitz uh, yeah tough 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 to understand how these guys are getting so so much better in blitz but uh, yeah. Okay, we have this position. <laughs> um, oh wow! 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 Okay. This looks like it's one zero, guys, or at least very close to it. White has a big advantage. Okay, not one zero because we're playing three 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 plus zero, but. Um, White has a big advantage. Unbelievable. Vladimirovich, top top player, Mr. Mistruk takes f6. I can tell you it's tough though. I can tell you it's tough. When people are telling you that 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 your opponent is cheating and everything, um you 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 get paranoid you know you get paranoid and you make worse moves than 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 you than you would have so oh what the f oh okay you see he he sees everything he he sees moves like rook d1 queen takes c4 and now rook, um rook d7 and you're getting checkmated kind of i think yeah you're getting checkmated rook, rook d7 g5 and then queen h5 and uh, your queen is too far uh, out of the game and, and and cannot come back in time to save the king so yeah rook d1 one zero huh? vladimirovich uh, resigns i don't know how many games are they are they playing this might be over huh? let's check 
Mm, tournament system. Finalists will be blah blah blah. Two more games will be played. Okay, so Vladimir Vladimirovich has a chance to to equalize this match, but I don't know. Isodung, this guy Isodung, very suspicious player, very very suspicious player. Guys, he's 25, 25, 25-20, not even that. Unbelievable, you know. Like, I I don't know how people can play so well. Um, too fast, too strong. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. You know, too fast, too strong. <laughs> Tough to say. Or his computer might be too fast, too strong for Vladivirovich. Um, this guy, Erebuni, was disqualified yesterday. He's a uh, He's a grandmaster, and his rating, his real, like real life rating, is 2440. That's very low for a grandmaster. It means that he's probably um, he's retired, basically. He's he's my age, probably. He's 25, but he's retired. Uh, probably has a job or something like that. I don't know. He's m most probably doing something else than chess. Because you cannot make a living having 24, 40 and, 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 and playing chess. Um, nevertheless, his, he I think he qualified yesterday. But he got disqualified uh, because because of cheating uh, cheating allegations. And apparently he's, he's been doing this for like the past five years. Uh, this is the first year he's, he, he's getting disqualified. So uh, this is a big problem. This is a big problem, yeah. Especially on the internet, uh, cheating is is a very, very big problem. <coughs> but let's see. Okay, Vladimirovich seems to be making a push, but the black is very, very solid. Black is still very, very solid. Rook d7. Yeah, I mean. This is the type of position that I like playing as black because you're not doing much, right? You, you're just like staying there and white has to find resources like he found in this case. And now he's going to take on a7 and at least he's going to win one pawn. But now maybe queen b8. No, queen g5. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Queen g5, rook takes c7. Wow, this guy is. Yeah, queen, queen here, king f1, king h1. Oh, wow. What is this? Oh, queen takes d4. No, no, no. This, uh, this game, this game is done. Uh, in my opinion, Isodung is cheating. I cannot, um, I cannot understand how a 24-50 player um, outplays, simply outplays, because Vladimirovich has been outplayed in this game. Um, a 27-50, you know, it's just not possible. Um, the manner in which he he's winning these games is it's simply inconceivable. So. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, queen g5 is not. It's not something you would find immediately. I mean, what I was thinking was queen b8. You know, to try to try to like uh, penetrate the b file. Not necessarily queen g5. You know, but. <laughs> you see, as you guys can see already, people are are doubting this guy. You know, you, you the guy is a cheater. Uh, 
he is obviously why would he cheat <laughs> why would he cheat yeah <laughs> when the first price is 3.5k i mean um doing that in a weekend uh, mean means a lot of money for a lot of people you know and um it's it, it's a strong incentive to to cheat you know and for example like Strong players would not do that, in my opinion. Strong active players, uh, because they have too much to lose. You know, their reputation is is at stakes. If if they get caught, I mean, no matter no matter what you say, you you're you're gonna you're probably gonna have to quit chess in the long run because like organizers will look will look at you with different eyes you know uh, you will always have problems right you will always have problems integrating in, in into the chess community again these guys on the other hand Izo Dung and the, 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 the Fireland they're kind of retired you know they're they're retired guys um, I know Fireland plays from time to time but I don't see him very often at tournaments uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a bit uh, it's it's a very soft soft subject and tough tough to say. Yeah, obviously, obviously black won very easily, and um, Isodung qualifies. So we have Isodung, we have the Presniak, we have Fireland, and we have. Who else do we have? Fireland. Okay, let me just get a pen. All right. So back to following. Follow the Presniak. Okay, we're back to following the Presniak. Grishuk. Our main main guy. Okay, so we have Fireland out of this one. Uh, winner 3-6 Fireland. Fireland winner 2-7. The Presniak. Okay, the Presniak versus Fireland. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, as we know that fire okay <laughs> if a 2500 guy can beat a top 10 player like somebody uh, somebody has to say something you know okay the pressia the Presniak fireland and the uh, the second semi-final we have um, Isodung surprising Isodung versus well, what happened in Blitzdor? Okay, history Blitzor D D D. Let's see. Um, he lost. Oh, oh. Yeah, he lost. So we have we have Federikov. So Isodung versus Federikov. Federikov and the Presniak versus Fireland in the semi-finals. I'm excited. I'm excited about the, the Presniak match. Izodung against Fe versus Federikov. Mm -hmm. uh, not such not such a strong match. Top, top right. I don't think that would that would do us any good. I can just like make. Okay, just a second. Now it should be good. Now it should be good. Um, okay. So let me make sure we're following the Presniak. Already, already following the press now. Okay. Good. So, what are the predictions? 
what are the predictions for the semifinals? Isodung, let's get to the first sem sem semifinal. Isodung versus Federikov. Predictions? Isodung, just because I think he's, he's cheating. Uh, the Presniak versus Fireland. I do want the Presniak to go, but who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen, you know? Fireland is, is on fire. Um, we don't know why he is on fire, but he is on fire. So, let's get it started. Uh, the Presniak has black in the first game. It's a Zveshnikov. Uh, very very sharp opening um, so let's see it's an interesting choice by by the Presniak he usually plays e5 I think um, but he, he plays c5 from time to time as well tough to say why why why, he, why he's choosing this this line mm, white gets white gets a nice nice outpost on the D on the d5 square um black hack yet some activity right so this is gonna get interesting very fast i believe white is supposed to play queen d3 rook d1 uh, try to try to make try to put some pressure on on the d file right and um, black at some point will try maybe um to um, to reroute his black square bishop if possible, to go like bishop d8, bishop b6. But for the moment, okay, I don't I don't necessarily like bishop takes e6, but maybe it's a it's a it's a good com computer move. <laughs> I don't know if I should say that, but <laughs> Fireland is. Yes, I agree. The bets are, are, are too high, you know. The bets are too high. Okay. Let's see. This is getting interesting. It's getting very, very interesting. The Presniak has to prove, you know, he's, uh, he's a pawn down. Uh, Fireland just took, and now he's asking questions. Why, why, what are you going to do, you know? How are you going to prove your your compensation queen b7 mm, okay i like this move i like this move a bit unexpected for me i, I would assume that he he was going to play rook a b8 or something rook a b8 would have been bad because then a3 uh but yeah queen b7 got his pawn back now he has he has some sort of problems with this guy with the bishop on f6, so if he doesn't if he doesn't open it very fast with e4, which is, I assume his next move, uh, probably here I would I would play e4. I would play e4 without thinking, but yeah e4. Uh, rook c4, okay. Again, you get you get super paranoid when when everybody knows or suspects your opponent to be cheating, so. Hmm. Um, yeah, you start doubting yourself. You, you, you don't want to enter into like uh, forced lines. Uh, it, it's it's tough, you know. It's tough. Okay, so queen b4. Okay. Wow. This is a move I would I would never find in two seconds. You know, this queen b4 is. These are the moves that just kind of, um, you know, deflate your whole enthusiasm about playing, about playing a chess game uh, against these guys. Yeah. Okay, pawn up. Normally it should be close to a draw because these two pawns here are very important. If these two pawns wouldn't be on the board, then black would have had. A very very difficult task at hand, but with these two pawns on on uh, on the board, I think he has enough compensation to make to try to make a drop. But then again, um, it's gonna be a grind. Like I would, I can I can see Fireland winning this this game uh, in the long run. So let's see.
Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, uh, Chesbra was saying something very interesting. He was telling me Izo Dung, uh, the guy that beat that beat Andre Kim, is trying to make it as 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 interesting as possible, as as competitive as possible, so that people don't um, don't suspect him. That's why he says uh, that's why he, they went into the tie breaks, right? Um, but then into the tie breaks, he completely demolished uh, Andre Kim. So I don't know. Tough to say, tough to say, you know. Fireland, on the other hand, I don't think he's trying to make it any any competitive. Uh, he 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 completely destroyed the other guy, right? He he started 2-0 and then he probably made a draw, and and that was it, right? But he's not trying to to take any chances. <laughs> That's quite funny. But yeah, hopefully, Fireland. Oh wow. Fireland offers a draw. <laughs> this is so funny. Fireland offers a draw. Are you kidding me? Like, why would he offer a draw? Why? No, this, this is... This is beyond suspicion to me. Uh, did he offer a draw just to uh, make things more interesting? Just to keep the doubters... Uh, you know, doubting that he's uh, he's cheating. I mean, no, 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 no. You cannot offer a draw in in, in that position. Look at game. Okay, let's see. We will come back to this game, guys. History is doing. See what Mr. No, 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 no. Um, game two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No GM would accept this. Of course, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, 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 I talked about it a little bit at the beginning. Um, definitely a very suspicious, very suspicious draw acceptance. But let's get back to the game. All right, so we have the Presniak as white. Um, Black is trying some sort of. Uh, Weaselish opening where he stays on the on the first two ranks and then and, and shuffles his pieces around and hopefully uh, manages to survive. Um, on the other hand, I like White's, White's position. You know, he has a good grip on the D on the on the D five square, and now he can just start rolling his pawns um, with H four H five. You know. I wouldn't have played knight d5 immediately, but oh, okay. His idea is to play f4, so this is very, very smart. Obviously, Fireland didn't fall in, didn't fall for that. Okay, I don't like what Grishchuk did here. I think he had a much better position. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have gone uh, um, knight d5, but rather I would start immediately with h h4 h5. Now the position is not that easy anymore. What to do, you know? If you play f4, I go knight c4. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Not, not impressed at all. Not impressed at all. I don't like what he did here. At least he, he has more time on the clock. Um, Maybe inputting, inputting those uh, those <laughs> those moves into the computer <laughs> and waiting for the evaluation actually takes some time. Um, I feel something is hanging in this position. Okay, just take and take on d6, right? 
what happened somebody's connection died yeah I think okay so so he's short on time I think Fireland is having some problems with uh, with his connection right mm. Similar situation to uh, to game one. White is having white is having some uh, white is having uh, some material advantage. He, he's a pawn up, but black is um, a bit more active, I would say, uh, just because his pieces seem to be seem to be more well, not necessarily more open. Right now, not. Right now, not. I don't know. Um, I wouldn't have kept. I would have taken on f3 and try to do something with opposite color bishops because uh, usually knight versus bishop uh, in an open position favors the bishop. So especially with rooks on the board. So I think this is already um, a very very good advantage for 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 uh, for white. But then again, I might be wrong. Let's see. Take on a6, yeah. Oh, this is 1-0, guys. I would be very surprised if if the Presniak misses this. Oh, he's one minute ahead on the clock. Yeah, this is 1-0. This is game over. Game over. Finally, Fireland is losing a game. I like this. Fireland losing a game. Come on. Uh, go home. Go home, boy. He's trying to do some uh, gimmicks with G4, I think. G4 doesn't work, yeah. Take bishop on f4 and then come with the king. Okay, you have three three seconds, buddy. Uh, what do you expect to do? Just resign. Yeah, of course you have to resign. Okay, uh, one and a half to half so far. So we have the Presniak at the half of the match, leading by one point. One and a half to half. What's happening in Izodun's game? I predicted that he's going to win, but let's see. Okay, Izodun is trying to make it as interesting as possible. <laughs> it's 1-1. One, one. Um... 1-1 one, one after after two two games. Let's continue with the Depresniak match though. So Grishchuk's Grishchuk's strategy is obviously play off bit lines. Um, try to get your opponent out of the opening, uh, out of the book, and make him think as soon as possible. Uh, at least make his computer think as soon as possible. So. Okay, taking a pawn. Mm, 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 okay. I remember there was a recent game in the US Championship like this, but I might be wrong. Uh, a game between Garev, he was Garev was white, and Sam Savion was black. And I think the bishop, the white square bishop, the uh, the white bishop was on g5. But I I I might be completely wrong. You know, um, it just looks similar. Yeah, need to take some risks to beat the passers, yeah, <laughs> this guy is right, and yes, Abasov is 20, 25, 10 feet, guys, 25, 10, 
compared to almost 2800 no take okay I don't know I don't like black's position honestly um, white or white finished his development completely finished his development while while black is still lagging behind for only one pawn I don't know if this is a good um, good strategy for for Grishuk but then again maybe I'm wrong Question is what is what is Fireland trying to do? He's trying to play knight b5 and take with the a pawn. Okay, I understand that. Yeah, knight b5, bishop takes b5, and now take with the a pawn. But Grishuk might might want well if he castles then he might fall under attack on the king side. Play like um, g g5 g6 so he cannot castle he has to take probably. I don't like whites. Okay, g5. Huh? What's happening? Isn't this like very very bad for white for black? Oh, his idea was probably to play knight b4 and try to get that this white square bishop from from the from the diagonal. Yeah, that's what he does. But now, what if what if he just takes on b4? I don't know. This is a very very complicated game. Very complicated. Um, okay, so Grishuk actually had some some very interesting ideas. I have to admit. But now he might be getting mated. What if he just takes on h6? Yeah, I, 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 st I still I still prefer white's position by far. You know, I still prefer white's position. Um, black just seems to be to be getting checkmated. You know, <laughs> like g6 h5. No, no, this position is horrible, horrible. Uh, Gr Grishuk did something something wrong. Yeah, hilarious outplay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Grishuk is getting outplayed <laughs> by a 25-10. H4, like who the... F H4 was like prophylactic move in case like black would have uh, would have castled. I mean, oh, wow. You know, those are not, those are not uh, human moves, guys. H4, A4, very, very deep strategic ideas, you know, and it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that that, that somebody with, with, with 2510 can do that. Um, yeah, like, it's not like he gets outplayed and then Grishuk blunders and he capitalizes on that. It, it's not like that. He's just playing better you know playing better chess um tough 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 to play against these guys knight d3 okay the game is still not over yet let's see knight d3 f5 mm -hmm. no no never mind knight d3 rook f1 yeah yeah f5 was a good move bishop f7 i would assume no, maybe bishop d5 now. Yeah, bishop. Well, bishop d5, knight takes a4. Okay, this is not. It's not over yet. <laughs> you know, like that. That knight can jump. That 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 knight is definitely jumping. Okay. 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 This this just became an interesting match. Um, uh, but I don't know, Grishuk did something very bad after that. 
rook g6 and now it's done right rook g6 yeah rook g6 with rook g8 unfortunately pity 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 grishchuk was coming back uh, i liked the way he was playing he he had the initiative towards the end and um, and something just happened so something just happened after that he started making bad moves again okay so we have we have fireland equalizing the score and a decisive round four let's see how Izo Dung is doing okay we have this decisive round four we will go we will get back to it immediately um, Izo Dung okay draw there is a decisive round four in Federico as well they uh, they are tied as as well so this is interesting one and a half, one and a half, and one and a half, one and a half. Very, very competitive matches. Whether that is because the guys using computer, using computer, we don't know if they are actually using computer, um, are just trying to make it competitive, or if they are just so close. Um, Quality wise, <laughs> these players are very, very close. Quality wise, it just sounds so funny when you compare uh, such players. Okay, the press is very, very uh, common plan in this in this type of setup. Um, White is playing queen b1 with the idea to play b4 and gain some. Uh, some space on the queen side. On the other hand, black is very solid, you know, so we'll see. Okay, so Grishuk is trying to gain kind of, um, kind of get a grip on all or both sides of the of the of the board. So this is very interesting. Very interesting strategic game by Grishchuk. Now go go back with the queen because you don't we don't you, you don't need to play before any any longer. Rookie one. Grishchuk has a nice position, but um, it's it's still quite complicated. That knight on e5 is very very beautiful. It's a very nice knight. Uh, pretty much restricts whole black's position, but he still needs to crack it. You know, he still needs to crack it. So that's gonna be interesting to see how how he want how he plans on doing that. He he will have to start g4. Yes, g4, g4, g5. Um, try something there, but. Definitely a nice position to play as white. Ninety-eight, probably. And now what? H four, H five, or rook f two? Okay, interesting. Rook at, rook f two, kind of a prophylactic move. Maybe tries to bring his knight through via f one. Oh, okay. Now. One knight is going. One knight is going to h6. Maybe the other one is trying to go back to e5. So knight on from d2 to e5, knight from d2 to e5, and knight from g4 to h6. But let's see. See what happens. Okay, take take. What if he takes on f4? Hmm? Nah, probably that would have been way, um, way too ambitious. Yep. If, if White doesn't win this game, I would be very surprised. 
Let's go. Let's go with the Presniak. Yes. Kill the cheater. Kill the cheater. Maybe that's a bit too aggressive. The nice trick, nice trick by the Presniak. If he takes on h4, he would have taken on h7. And then queen h5, because the pin would have, if he takes on h7 with the king, then queen h5 and the pin is there. But we will have to see some sacrifices now. Yeah, knight takes h5. Take. He's winning. He's, he saw something. What did he see? King g8? What's happening after king g8? King g7? Okay. Why would you go king g7? I don't know. Rook g2, huh? Rook g2 and g6? g6 directly, okay. Yeah, this this has to be... Whoa, 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 wait. This is not that easy. Take, take and rook g7. What is he doing? What is the Presnia doing? No. No, I cannot believe this. He blew it. He completely blew it. Oh wow. Wow. This is depressing, guys. As depressing as depressing as depressing. I hope he flags or something. I hope Fireland flags. I hope he gets yes, he gets he's gonna flag. He gets some uh, some internet connection problems and he flags. Yes. Yes. Flagger, go. Go, yes. Oh what? Whoa, never mind. I got scared for a second. I thought, okay, game over, guys. Game over. The Presniak goes on. Yes. Yes. After so, after such a battle, the Presniak, we have our first finalist, guys. The Presniak, my horse. It's easy to be to be my horse because he's like the the highest rated by far in the whole tournament. So I didn't take a huge bet on that. Um, good job, good job beating the the cheater. Supposedly the cheater. Supposedly. Let's see what uh, what the other guys are doing. Whoa, 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 I don't want it that big. Come on. Uh, okay, history Isodung. Isodung lost. Isodung lost to Federikov. So we have Federikov versus the Presniak. Very interesting. I played Federikov last night. Uh, he didn't seem that strong. I beat him a few times. Um, let me check my history. He beat me. He beat me most of the times, but... Did I play Scotlander or... I cannot go more, yeah. Yeah, I, I played him a few one minute games and I was I was getting the best out of it out of him. Okay, very interesting very very interesting final guys. Isodung versus Fireland hype, yes. Uh, no, there is no Isodung versus Fireland. Thank god there is no Isodung versus Fireland. Uh, there is the Presniak versus Frederikov. Uh, Federikov, Frederikov, I don't even know what his name is. Uh, let me check. It's Federikov, yes, it's Federikov. 
So it's an interesting match. Interesting match, guys. Follow the Presniak just to make sure I'm still following him. Yes. So now we wait and and we see. We see. I I I have the Presniak. Right now I have the Presniak. You know. Uh, right now it seems easier. Uh, it, it seems much easier than before. I I, I thought Fireland is gonna be his main. Um, nemesis, you know, because because of all this like cheating hype. Um, Federikov, I didn't hear anything of him cheating, but who knows? Maybe somebody somebody that that's up to date can help us on that. Um, yeah, let's 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 see what uh, what they're doing. Come on, what are they waiting for? Isn't 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 the other uh, isn't the other uh, semi-final done as well? Okay, in the meantime, I'm just gonna get some water. So a quick recap. Quarterfinals. Um, Vladimirovich Andreekin lost to Izodung. Izodung being um, David Larino Nieto. Mm, 24 something federated. Um, suspicious. Second semifinal. Blitz Blitz or DDD uh, Daniel Dubov lost to Federikov. I don't know who Federikov is actually. Federikov is Federico Perez Ponsa. I don't know what his rating is. Um, if somebody can help us with that, that would be good. So Federico won. The Presniak versus Aplus, the Presniak one. Mm, and Sibel Elephant, who is Artemiev and who is a very, very strong player, lost to Fireland. Fireland, our main um, suspicious, uh, suspicious activity guy. Okay. Semifinals. Izodung versus Federikov. And the Presia, the Presniak versus Fireland. Izodung apparently lost to this Federico guy. Maybe he said, "Okay, guys, uh, it's time. I want enough money. If I win more, it becomes too suspicious. Fuck it, you know. Let's just uh, let's just lose this game." Yeah, let, let's just lose this match and 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 go go home with with whatever he got. Uh, maybe he he wasn't cheating. Who knows? I'm just being mean right now. So Federikov won that won that match. The Presniak versus Fireland. The Presniak uh, versus Fireland was a very very interesting match. So the first game, um, if I remember correctly. Fireland offered a very very interesting draw in a position where he was a pawn up and he didn't have any any type of um, risks involved so I don't know why he offered the draw I have no idea but uh, of course the person immediately took it and then he won a game then then Fireland equalized the score, the match, one and a half, one and a half. We went into the final round, 
and um, that's when that's when things got super messy. Uh, the game was uh, was going smooth for for the Presniak. He was having a nice advantage, uh, nice pressure building up with the building building up the pressure. Um, towards the end, he started like slipping. You know, he started slipping. I, I he was a piece down at some point, and he it didn't seem like he has enough compensation. But then, um, I think the internet started playing with with Mr. Fireland, and you know he he just lost. He he, he lost. So we got to the final. So who is Federikov? Do you know his name? Final has started. Federico versus the person. Yeah. Let's see. Oh wow, we have a we have a dragon. <laughs> we have a dragon on the board. It's very interesting. Grishuk is going for the kill. I think he knows. He feels that. He's better than this guy, you know. Um, he wants to show him that, okay, I will take you into very unclear waters, and then I will outplay you slowly uh, in, in, in those in those games, in those type of games. Um, let's see. Feder Federico playing fast, confidently good player. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, pretty strong. Pretty strong. Okay. I used to play the dragon, and I honestly never liked playing it in Blitz because it's very uh, it's very dangerous. You can easily get like checkmated, and. Um, it's not a fun, not a fun type of position to to, to defend in uh, in in blitz games. Um, even strategically, I think is a bit uh, is a bit of a suspicious opening. So yeah, I, I like White's position here, uh, despite the fact that the Presniak is there. Uh, I like White's position. H5 is coming, you know. H5 is coming. Uh, the position opens up. Uh, you might get checkmated, you know, and I don't know, rook g1, no, I would play, rook e1, okay. Let's see. Okay. He got out of the woods. He got out of. He definitely got out of the woods. Um, yeah, yeah. Black, black is doing fine now. Federikov did some very, very suspicious things. Uh, he played rook e1, which I didn't understand. He he was supposed to go rook g rook g1 and try to open up the position uh, of black's king, take on g6 and stuff, right? Not not play on on on, on the central files for no reason. Yeah, black is black is doing very well. I would be surprised if if yeah the Presniak wasn't going to take a draw in that position. I mean, he's a pawn up. Or why why would he do that? You know. Um, queen 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 d4 very very strong move. Uh, you're just bringing your last you know your your most important piece. Into the in, into the defense in the center, you know, you're activating your most important piece, 
um, definitely a good a good maneuver by by the Presniak. So why don't he play d5? Hmm, I'm curious. Maybe d5 rook d1. I feel like he has to take that knight away from the center, you know, um, somehow. So it's not that easy to make progress. That's the problem. Um, both 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 players are just trying to shuffle the pieces and gain some time, in my opinion. Knight takes d6. Okay. Equal pawns. Mm, 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 mm. Things will start get messy, guys. Um, they're both very low on time. The Presniak is lower on time. And yep, yeah, now now I like now I like White's position. The black squares are very very important in this position. A3 Queen F6, that's the problem. A3 Queen F6 and A3 Queen F6 Rook H4. That would be my way of defending, but he he's trying something else. But he's only 14 seconds deep. I mean, that's that's nothing, you know. That's nothing. Uh, he he's he's probably gonna lose this game. He's gonna go queen f6. Neither he's gonna repeat like once or twice, and then he's gonna go. He's gonna do something else. I would say. Yep. Yeah. Queen f6. Come on, play queen f6. I mean, the guy has eight seconds. You know, you you, you cannot not play for the win this in this position yeah knight d5 take oh he missed rook takes b3 oh wow rook takes b3 was completely winning on the spot yeah no it's done the game is done guys uh, no time wait what Who's lagging? Okay. Yeah, the Presniak um, too slow. Too slow this game. He needs to come back, you know. Federico Perez Ponza. Yes, Federico Perez Ponza won, won his first game. Very impressive. Very impressive. Now let's see. All right. Game number two. The Presnyak needs to come back. He had a good position. He had a very, very good, uh, very good um, dragon. And at some point, he was up material. His king was safe, but White's position was still was still solid enough to just keep the tension. Don't make anything uh, like don't play any. A, a, any any decisive moves wait and that kind of burned the uh, burn blacks time uh, and, and towards the end that 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 was the um, culminating factor you know the, the, the most important factor okay so if I remember correctly the Presniak already played this position right I think he already played this position against Fireland um, not long time ago. In, in in their last match, in their last game. So let's see. Yep, ninety five. He is trying to do the same thing with f four. No, I don't think so because right now he um, he already opened the position on on the queen side. He's having some troubles right now. He he needs to stay on the queen side. He cannot he cannot open open both uh, both sides. So let's see. I mean, uh, I'm not very impressed with White's position. You know, I I, I feel like okay. Now now I am impressed with White White's position. <laughs> now I think he's winning. Queen takes b6. Queen b4 though. Hmm. Nah, not yet done. Oh wow, c7. c7 and what? 
Oh, bishop a6. Okay. Yeah. This should be um this should be 1 0, guys. This should be 1 0. <laughs> yeah, I don't see I, I I don't see a way black can try to untangle himself. Like white is just gonna go knight a3, knight b5. Um, at some point he's gonna take that rook, you know. Um, g4 restriction, very good restrictive move. Uh, that knight on g7 right now is completely dead. So now rook c6, bishop d6, I mean, it's just a matter of time before Grishchuk takes this one home. Take, take, take on b6. Rook b8, right? Yeah, rook b8, come on. How is this? What? Why did I think Rook D6 should have been winning much easier than that? Maybe it wasn't though. <laughs> yeah, Bishop D6. Now he's done. Rook A6 and game over. Rook A6 and game over, guys. Rook a8, bye bye. So, 1 1. Not bad. Not bad. Good comeback by the Presniak. 1 1 at, at half. It's good. All these games seem to be very competitive, which I definitely like. Game number three, and we have a Berlin, anti Berlin. Take, take, okay. I mean, very solid, very solid opening choice. I like the way the Presniak is kind of switching from one type of game to the other type of game. He's he's testing uh, Federico on. On very on, on various grounds, you know, he's he's testing in, him in in sharp positions, and he's testing him in more um, strategic positions. So I, I definitely like the way the Presniak is handling the match situation. Knight d2, f5, probably I would assume. Uh, I'm not very familiar with this type of positions. Um, I know I know Grishchuk is. He played he played against the world champion a very very similar uh, very similar game. He lost that match. He lost that match, but he, he had a very good position. So um, yeah, I like I like the way he plays it. You know, knight takes. You know, the, the, the position starts opening up. The bishops um, are getting some life. So, in my opinion, black is clearly better already. So yeah, take take on c5, take on c5, and then the h3 pawn is is hanging. Uh, if you don't take on c5, that if you don't exchange the knights, then knight d3 might be might be joining in. So I don't know. Okay, rook e3 is a good defense, good defending move. I like it.
knight d3 bishop d4 okay okay bishop d4 queen h4 where, where is he gonna go with the queen hmm rook d8 I still like I still like black's position I still feel black is uh, is more active I like that knight on d3 that that knight on d3 is extremely unpleasant for um, for white okay, so it's equal pawns this is quite a balanced game quite a balanced game guys Probably, I think he has to take care of that knight on b3 somehow. That knight on b3 is not is not having a very good life so far. Um, if you attack it, he's he's gonna have to flee, you know. So I th I think that's what he's trying to do right now. Trying to find a way to 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 get to that knight. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, Rook on g5 is completely out of the game. I like this move. I like this f5 move. Wait, what if what if you just attack the the rook and then f4? Okay, so he wants to sacrifice. Yep, f4. Depresniak is ruling this game. Depresniak is ruling this match. Uh, no way, no way Federico can escape this position. E3. Checkmate is coming, buddy. Rook takes G2. Rook takes E3. Come on. Checkmate is coming. And now Bishop F8, game over. Yep game becomes an examined game very very nice game by the Presnia. i really enjoyed this uh this outplay uh he's doing yeah he's uh he's doing well all he needs is a draw as white to 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 clinch the title and good performance good good performance by him uh like i said the the, the biggest challenge was fireland Fireland was definitely the guy to uh, to watch out for. Yes, yes. At least we have two legit players in the finals. I agree. I agree. You know. Yeah, try for a draw. I, I mean, he's not going to try for a draw. I think he's going to go for it, but, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this if this game finish, if this match finishes 3-1. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, that bishop needs to be exchanged. After that bishop is exchanged, position position for white becomes very very easy. You know, he's just gonna go take take b3 maybe or c3. Yeah, c3 is better. And then f4, maybe f5 at some point. Um, there's no way black can open the game on, on, on the queen side. Uh, and besides that, I don't see any, any counterplay for him. So, yeah, white is just having a very, very nice strategic advantage. You know, bishop c2, now the d4 square is a bit weak. Um, maybe king f2 now. I don't know, king f2 is a bit 
risky maybe because of knight c5. Hmm. Okay. I, I would probably just take and then rook d1 or rook a7. Um. Uh, yeah. White is is doing well. I don't see him losing. You know. I definitely don't see him losing. But the game is not over, you know. The game is not over. Black might try something with b4, open up the b file, try to try to make way for for his rook. So this is not this is not yet done, you know. Knight e4. Knight f4 maybe to go on d5. Also, he's threatening to play e6, so he has to be careful on that. Um, yeah, knight g5, he had to stop e6. Hmm, okay. What is he trying to do? He's very down on time though. The Presniak has to be careful. He's uh, 40 seconds down. Um, I don't like this. I don't like this. Not a single bit. And Black has some ideas, you know. Black can maybe play uh, Rook E8, put some pressure, put some pressure on the E5 pawn. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm not very impressed with with how uh, how the Presniak handled business in, in in this game. He's getting um, okay if he cannot play knight e6 anymore because then after king f3 he would claim. Oh, he didn't claim. Oh wow. He played super fast h6 because otherwise he would have claimed the uh, the draw. <laughs> very interesting. No, 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 I don't like this position. Nope. The Presniak did bad. The Presniak did very, very bad. But Federikov is not doing very well either. <laughs> yeah, he missed his chance. Uh, right now his only chance is time. If he doesn't get something out of that, uh, it's, it's game over. Yeah, yeah, this is game over. Uh, unless something like super extraordinary happens. Uh, we have a new ICC Open title holder champion however you want to call him um, and that's gonna be the Presniak yes why didn't he go King G2 I have no idea why he didn't go King G2 okay this again things are are flowing like this you know like okay now he's probably gonna lose yeah just gave her the rook away Oh wow. Oh wow. What a turn of events. What a turn of events. Wow. Okay, so it's out of five games. Or out of how many? Three, six games. Okay, never mind. I thought it's only four games. Like it should be another game, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it might be six games. Yeah, not 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 bad for a cheater. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a very very interesting match.
Okay, we have the Berlin again. Grishuk is trying the same thing. Oh, but, but wow, I cannot believe he lost that game. I cannot believe he lost that game. Very surprising. Okay, so the, the thing says a match in the finals ends before four games are played if one player has 2.5 points or more. So doesn't that mean that if if Feder if the Presnia would have won 3 1, wouldn't he be wouldn't he be already like the champ? No, never mind. Never mind. I uh, I read the rest of it and it says yes, 3.5 or more in the final of the last two. Yeah, yeah, you're you're right. Three and a half points uh, necessary. Best out of six. Okay. It seems like it seems like uh, the Presniak has his number in this uh, in this in these Berlin battles. Uh, he's a pawn up. Very very solid position. Uh, I don't see too much compensation for white. Actually, I don't see any compensation at all for white. Um, this should go to the Presniak. Should go to the Presniak. So many so many turn of events this this uh, this tournament. I I cannot predict too many things at this moment. Rook f8 and what? I mean, what, what, what's White's plan? You know, how how what, what is White gonna do? Is he gonna take on a4? He might just take on a4, huh? Oh wow, oh. he might take on a4. What is he calculating though? If he takes on a4. Is he calculating some rook takes f2 or something? Probably not. What? Oh, the Presniak with some very interesting tactics. So he play he play he firstly placed his rook on f7 so that the bishop protects it. Very very deep for like two seconds of thought, you know? Very, very deep. That's why he. That's why he's almost 2800. You know, uh, knight takes d6, bishop a5, knight f3 coming. Seems to be some sort of checkmate coming, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Queen c1, game over. Queen c1 and knight d2. Queen c1, knight d1, knight d2, game over. Well, this is checkmate in one move. Okay. Okay. Um, nice, nice game by the Presniak again. His Berlin, his Berlin underst understanding was way higher than his opponents. So. Yes, no, Vasim. Yeah, you're you're right. You're completely right. Last game, unless unless Federikov uh, does it again and wins with Black. Let's see. Black had a had a pretty good final, no? Grishuk won two with Black. Uh, Federikov won one with Black. Quite a good uh, good result for the for for the Black pieces. Let's see. The Presniak using same tactics, you know, exchanging the black square bishop um, and hoping, hoping that okay, 
you're not gonna you're not gonna have much of an attack as black after that so let's see I don't know I he's kind of playing for a draw you know he is playing for a draw and I don't know if I agree with that um, with that concept but then again I mean his position is perfectly perfectly fine you know. probably even slightly better but uh, yeah this is this games are actually kind of uh, kind of like a queenless uh, middle game you know mm. a lot of maneuvering a lot of like weak bad squares you know tactical shots uh, all over the place so uh, they're not that easy to handle you know they're not that easy to handle okay now now I like white now I definitely like white uh, that 19 on h6 is is having problems coming to life mm. Knight to g5 was aimed against f6, against moving f6. So, okay, this... What if he plays... No, g5, g5 doesn't work. Maybe knight d4 now. Knight d4, knight d8. Uh, mm, mm. Okay. Some people are already celebrating Sasha. Um... Sasha Grishuk, uh, congrats, Sasha, blah blah blah. I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't hurry, you know. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hurry. I've learned from this tournament that um, there is always something unpredictable happening. The momentum can change super fast, and actually, I start. I'm starting to like black. Um, because the D file, the only open file in the position is his. Mm, he has a very nice rook D5 coming at some point. H6, he has to play maybe now. H6, and then I don't know. It's not that easy. Keep the tension, you know. Keep the tension. Uh, make your opponent burn some time. Um, White might still be okay, but it's not uh, it's not done yet. That's for sure. We've seen we've seen too many too many turns of events to uh, to, to 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 deconsider uh, Black's position. I don't I don't like Knight Xc5 though. I, I I don't know why he allowed him to have like two passed pawns when he should have just exchange on on G5. You know. Uh, now uh, I think it's almost over. Now I think it's almost over. Yeah. It's game over. That knight is not going anywhere. Knight d3. Maybe not knight d3. Knight d3, 5. e4. Knight takes b4. Yeah, knight takes b4. Come on, take that pawn. What? What? Rook d4, he's gonna go, but he's he, he, h5. Man. Position is pretty good. No, actually, h5. Why is he thinking he has to go rook d4? Otherwise, he's just done. The game is over if he doesn't go rook d4. You have to go rook d4, buddy. Why are you thinking for so long? Okay. Now you can resign, but... <laughs> yeah. Game over. Draw. Nice uh, nice calculation by, uh, by Sasha Grishu. Yeah. The Presniak is the new champion. Champion of ICC, the Presniak, very good, uh, very good performance. His black, his black uh, was uh, was quite impressive. His Berlin was impressive. Um, overall, a much better player than uh, than everybody else. You know, uh, I'm a bit I'm a bit sad. Vladimirovich didn't go didn't go through the first. Uh, 
the the first quarterfinals because he he met that Isodun guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that Isodun was doing, but you know Isodun and and Fireland are very very suspicious players. So yeah, it it was fun. Congratulations to the winner. Uh, congratulations to everybody else that was in the final because after all they they got there somehow. Um, and thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you tomorrow, maybe tonight with some uh, with some blitz. I will. Uh, I will decide later on, probably tomorrow. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good Sunday, Sunday evening, and till later. Bye, bye, bye.